welcome to this lecture javascript essential required for react in this we are going to learn completely about arrow functions we will understand how to define arrow functions and also we are going to see some of the examples to understand this concept in our last few lectures we have seen how to declare function and also we have understood function expression in javascript there is one more way of writing function which is very simple and easy to understand that is nothing but our arrow function so now what is arrow function so it is also a function but it is having a simple form of function expression which is shorter and also it is very fast to write if you want to perform one line of operation then you can go with arrow function practically we will understand this using arrow functions we can write anonymous function expressions in javascript we have already understood what are anonymous function function which is not having any name it is called as anonymous function so using arrow function it becomes very easy and finally this arrow function concept was introduced in ecmascript 6 to provide shorter syntax to our function expression so before understanding arrow function first you should be having little bit understanding of function expression now this will be the syntax we will be creating our function and after this we are going to pass our parameters then we are going to use this arrow symbol and after that we are going to perform operation and we will see if you want to write multiple lines practically we will understand all the scenarios but this is the basic syntax of arrow function example this is my function name i just want to multiply this so i will be passing x and y as my parameters and i am just going to perform this operation that is x into y let us start with a practical example first let us write one simple function expression here i am going to write function inside this i am just going to pass one parameter i will write flavor 1 inside this function i will just display some text let me just write here ice with flavor 1 and this entire function is not having any name so it is called as anonymous function so what i have to do i just have to assign this function to one variable i will be writing here const and i will just write here ice cream machine you can give anything but previously whatever functions we have learned same concept and same function name i am using here now how do we call this function as soon as we assign this function to our variable now this becomes our function to call this i will be passing my function and inside this i am just going to write chocolate i will save i will get ice with chocolate this is how we are going to define function expression now this same function i want to convert into arrow function how we will be doing first let me just create one variable i will give here ice one is equal to now we have to pass the parameter i will write here flavor one same parameter we will be using arrow function and what i have to return i just want to return this console now if you see here this is our function expression same function i have converted into arrow function here i am not using any function keyword directly i am passing this parameter and using this arrow symbol i am just displaying my console and this entire thing i have assigned to this variable now to call this we just have to call this variable now this becomes our function i will write here ice one now i am just going to give vanilla save it now i will be getting my result the okay, syntax is very simple to understand arrow function but here if you see 
here I am passing only one parameter and I have not returned anything. Directly I am just passing this console, I am able to display the result. And also I am having only one line of code. So in that cases, I usually don't have to explicitly write return keyword. And whenever you are writing arrow function, if you are having only one parameter and if you don't give this parenthesis, then also it is going to work. But if you are working in VS Code and if you have installed Prettier extension, as soon as you save, by default, it is going to wrap inside parenthesis so that we will not make any mistake. And in future, if you want to pass multiple parameters, you can directly separate with comma and you can pass parameters. Now let us write another example to calculate your age. I will write calculate age. Below this, I am just going to create function age is equal to now inside this, I am just going to pass one parameter that is birth year. Let me write arrow function and I will consider 2050 minus birth year. Whatever argument I pass for this and that number will be passed here and this number will be subtracted from 2050 and I will be getting my birth year. Now how do we call this function? I will write here age and inside this let me just pass here 2000. I will save. Now you can see I am not having any result. Why? Because this is returning me some value and that value I am assigning it to this function. An arrow function is nothing but it is a shorter syntax for function expression. An expression is nothing but which will be returning final value. So from this function I have got some value and that value I am just storing inside this function. When I am calling this function, I got the value, but I have not stored that value anywhere. So, what we can do? We can just write here const. I will write age1. So, that value I am assigning to this variable. I can just display age1. Save it. Now, I will be getting my age. That is 50. 2050 minus 2000. I will be getting 50. So this is how we are going to use arrow function. Till now we have seen by passing only one parameter and just performing the operation. And in this function we are just passing one line of code. Suppose if you just write here block, I will remove curly brace and I am just going to close my curly brace here. I will save this. Now you can see I got the result as undefined. Same function I have written, everything is same. Only thing what I have done, I am just wrapping this inside curly braces. But as soon as I wrap inside curly braces, this becomes block of code. So whenever we are passing curly braces, then implicitly we have to write our return keyword. If we don't write, then it is not going to work. Now if I save, I will be getting the result. But if you are having only one line of operation, then you don't have to write this block of code and also you don't have to write this curly braces. Then you will be getting the result. And if you have already started your React journey, then you will see arrow functions are used a lot if you want to perform one liner operation. Now let us pass multiple parameters. I will just write one comment multiple parameters. I will copy the same function, same, I will be writing it here. How we are going to separate, I will write here is2. Parameters, we just have to separate by comma and we will be giving our parameter name. I will give flavor2. Now I will not be returning like this. Instead, I will be writing block of code. I will remove this. Now inside this, what I will be doing, I will be creating one variable and inside that I will be assigning my string. Const, I will write here ice underscore 2. Inside this, I am just going to write ice with flavor 1. I 
and flavor 2. Inside this arrow function, I am just writing block of code. If we are writing only one line of code, then we do not have to use curly braces. But if we are writing block of code or two lines of code, more than one line of code, then it is a must we have to wrap inside this curly braces. Now, once we use curly braces, whatever value we want, we just have to return that value. I will write here return. Now, what I want to return, I just want to return this string which is stored inside this variable. Now, how do we call this? Now, this will be treated as my function. I will call and I am just going to give my flavors. I will write here strawberry and here I am going to write pineapple. Now, from this function, this string I will be getting as my value. Now, as soon as I save, I will not be having any result. Because this value I have to store inside one variable. I will write here eyes to print is equal to. Now, to see this result, I just have to log this eyes to print. Save it. I will be getting result eyes with strawberry and pineapple. Okay, whenever we are passing multiple parameters, we have to wrap inside parentheses. And if we are doing lot of operation, then entire thing has to be wrapped inside curly braces and explicitly we have to return this value only then we will be able to get that value and we can see that value when we call the function so by seeing this maybe now you will be confused what kind of function and what type of function you should choose for your projects either function expression or function declaration or arrow function Okay, let me tell you about arrow function. Previously, we have seen, we have compared declaration and expression. Now, let us talk about arrow function. So, in many cases, what I suggest, whenever we are doing one line of operation, then we can go with arrow function because it has very simple syntax and also it is very easy to use. But if you are having blocks of code, then you can definitely go with function declaration or function expression based on your personal preference because when you are adding multiple parameters and if you are writing block of code sometimes it becomes very messy and also it becomes complex due to which we will lose the main advantage of using arrow function and why we have to use arrow function only to perform simple line of operation or single line of operation which will be returning some value so in those kind of situation and for easy and quick solution we can use arrow function but same thing whatever we are performing in function expression or function declaration if you start using entire code inside arrow function then definitely it will be losing its advantage and we are not using the proper functions which has made for our use. So, you should be very choosy in choosing the functions whenever you define in your projects. Personally, I have seen for everything, many people start using arrow functions. But when you ask me, it should be avoided because for simple liner and for array higher methods, you can go with arrow functions. Like if you want to use map method, reduce method, and in single line, if you are getting the result, in those kind of situation, you can definitely choose arrow function, but not for all the functions. So now you will be having an answer. What type of function should you use? And also is arrow function can be used everywhere. So by the explanation, now you are having the answer. The answer is no. Why? Because sometimes it is very complicated because arrow functions will not be having their own this keyword when you're working with complex functions and when you're working with oops then arrow functions are not having this keyword then arrow functions are not having this keyword so in such cases you cannot use arrow function understanding this keyword is important when you start with your oops because arrow functions will not be having this 
so if you want to perform or if you want to write any complex functions then you cannot go with arrow function but it doesn't mean that arrow functions are not important they are important and even i use all the time but whenever it is required and when i want to perform simple operation then i always go with arrow functions sometimes in my react project i don't use regular functions because i will not be using this keyword and whatever advantage i want i can get from arrow function so it is not like you will not use arrow functions at all in react most of the time when you are performing higher order methods of array then arrow functions are best suited for those things i hope you understood arrow function and syntax of arrow function and when to use return keyword and when you should not use return keyword and also now you will be having little bit of understanding what functions you have to use when you start writing your projects that's all for this lecture thank you for watching